there are some dangers. Number one, you can blow out an eardrum if you've got a cold, a common cold, and you get on a plane, or you can get a severe sinus headache. Sinuses are holes in the head that drain into the nose, and they really communicate with the outside. There's a little tube that goes from the ear to the nose called the eustachian tube that equalizes the pressure in the ear. So anything that swells the nose can block either one of, the, one of those tubes. When they're blocked, if you go up in the air in a plane and the pressure inside the plane changes, it can't change inside the ear of the sinuses and you can get terrifying pain either from pressing in or it trying to blow itself out. So what can you do? Well, you need to be sure that that nose is under good control. And this is one time where we say the decongestant nasal sprays are probably of great benefit to patients. Decongestant nasal sprays like Afrin nasal spray, Otrevin, Neosinephrine are great. They shrink down the nose, but they have a rebound congestion and can make people worse than they can get hooked on them. Before you travel on a plane, however, the nose will be decongested, those tubes will stay open, and you won't have as much problem with uh, blocked ears or blocked sinuses. I really think that children that cry a lot on airplanes are having eustachian tubes that are blocked. You might talk to your pediatrician about what he wants to do, but there's one-fourth percent neosinephrine that can be used 15 to 30 minutes before you get on a plane. Other things that we can do, yawn, uh, that opens up the eustachian tube. Chew gum, that will help open up the eustachian tube. And drink fluids, that will do it. Alcohol shouldn't be used. Dehydrates people, makes things worse as far as blocking the eustachian tube.